Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love reading for the week of March 5th. Whoop. So, these are the angel answer cards. These are the uh, cards that will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. So, romance angels. What does Leo need to know? Card for Leo. Jeez. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Nice. That's awesome. Let's see. Tell us more for Hello what happens. Leo. The Empress. Hmm. And the Knight of Wands. So the Empress is considered the perfect partner, someone who is abundant. Um she is very fertile, and that's why she is abundant. There's lots of uh, plants growing around her, uh, wheat, corn, so we have grains, we have vegetables, we have a big, beautiful house. She has beautiful clothing on. She has this big crown that has the 12 zodiac sign, uh, the 12 stars symbolizing the 12 zodiac signs. So she is abundant. And here we have the Knight of Wands. Could be you because this is a fire sign uh, quality. So, but it could be Aries or Sagittarius also. And uh, coming in, coming in hot. That to me looks like that passion. <laughs> I almost kind of want to say it's almost like that caveman mentality, you know? Clubber and drag her by her hair into the thing, the cave, which is horrible. I'm not saying anybody should do that, but that's what it made me think of. <laughs> Let's see. Tell us more for Leo. What's going on here? More for Leo. The Ten of Wands. Dropping the burdens. Hmm. The Queen of Cups. Water sign quality. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Could also be someone who is very caring, very nurturing, very warm, intuitive, possibly. Maybe a little naive. Hmm. Let me tell us more about that Ten of Wands. Has to do with true <laughs> love. To me, I would take this as you didn't think that you would ever have love and now you have true love and you had worried so much that it would never exist for you but this is saying it does <laughs> that's why the ten of wands is here you're believing you're not lovable is coming to an end because there's someone here who is they, they have passion and love for you well, tell us about this other person for leah the Emperor could be an Aries, could have Aries in their chart. This is someone who tends to be more on the traditional side. Okay? Could be someone who, uh, I'm looking at that, has choices. That's what I'm really saying. So the person, you may be surprised at who you've landed is the only way I could say, because this person does like you, there is passion, and you never thought that they would be for you, but here they are, Leo. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's see. Anything else you want to tell us about this person for Leo? Wow, King of they are your soulmate. This is a divine relationship, a divine counterpart. This is you and them. It's perfect. Wow. That's awesome. Well. Congratulations, Leo. That sounds great. Who doesn't want their soulmate, right? Or at least their divine counterpart. Soulmates come and go. Divine counterparts, I don't know that they come and go, but I know that they are they're they serve a purpose. And, uh, well, you ready? What's your question, Leo? You have two questions you get to ask. First answer is take action. That's so funny. I always love when that comes out with this because it's so reminiscent of the same card. Take action. Passionate action. <laughs> What's your other question, Leo? Here's your answer. 
compromise. That's any good relationship, right? Let's get you a Keeper of the Light Oracle card for you. Bridget, inner strength, move back to wholeness, recognize that you have the power. To me, this is about passion for yourself, passion for others, but realizing that you have value and your passion matters. You're stronger than you realize and you have a lot more to offer. And I think that's what the point is with all this fire in her hands. So thank you very much for being here at Leo. I wish you good luck. Have a great week and I'll see you. Bye.